Hello everyone. How is it going? I hope you are enjoying my classes. I am Sumareddy, teacher of English working in a government higher primary school, Bhima Samudra, Chitradurga Taluk, Chitradurga district. What is this? Yes, you are right. It is the most beautiful thing you can see in the sky, rainbow. How many colors are there in the rainbow? Count. Yes. How many? There are seven colors in the rainbow. What are the colors? Let me know the colors, please. Yes. At the top, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. You can see all the seven colors here isn't it so can we learn the rainbow song yes let's go and learn a color song a rainbow song larry the leprechaun found his pot of gold at the end of the rainbow the colors of the rainbow are so beautiful to see the colors of the rainbow Sing the colors along with me Red, orange, yellow Green and blue Indigo And you know There's violet too Red, orange, yellow Green and blue Indigo of the rainbow are so beautiful to see the colors of the rainbow sing the colors along with me red orange yellow green and blue indigo and you know there's violet too Orange, yellow, green and blue, indigo, and you know, there's violet too. Did you enjoy the rhyme? I'm very much sure that you enjoyed it a lot. Isn't it? Isn't it a pretty song like a rainbow? Yes. So let me check again what you have learned from the Rhyme colors, yes. What are the colors? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Yes, these are the seven colors from the rainbow. Do you know one more thing? Who in who identified this color? These colors were identified by our scientist, Sir Isaac. Newton, who is the first person to identify these colors from the rainbow. Okay, and he gave all these name, uh, names like Vibgyor, that is called as acronym, a short name to remember or uh, recall all the names of the rainbow. V I B G Y O R. I'll tell you later what it is. Okay, so. Do you know what we are going to discuss today? The poem, The Rainbow from 6th Standard, 2nd Language English prescribed in Karnataka State Syllabus. I am going to recite the poem or uh, sing the poem for you. You have to repeat it after me, line by line, okay? Look up from your book. Hope you are all uh, opened your textbooks. Page number 14. Okay, come on fast. Open your textbooks and page number 14. Okay, hope you, you got it. I am going to sing this poem for you. And you have to repeat after me. Okay, shall we start? 
Boats sail in the rivers and ships sail on the seas. Boats sail in the rivers and ships sail on the seas. But clouds that sail across the sky are prettier far than these. Boats sail in the rivers and ships sail on the seas. There are bridges on the rivers as pretty as you please. There are bridges on the rivers as pretty as you please. Boats sail in the rivers and ships sail on the seas. But the boat that bridges heaven, but the boat that bridges heaven and over top the trees. Boats sail in the rivers and ships sail on the seas and builds a road from other side and builds a road from earth to sky is prettier far than these boats sail in the rivers and she is ships Sail on the seas. Very good. Yes, you have done it. It's beautiful, beautiful. So I am going to give you a short summary of this poem. Uh, the Rainbow. Here uh, the poet is our Krishna Rosetti. is trying to say the rainbow is the most beautiful thing to see. Why it is beautiful is because when uh, the ships and uh, boats sail in the rivers and uh, seas see in the same way rainbows are uh, uh, clouds uh, which are sailing across the sky is prettier far than these she is comparing clouds to uh, boats and ships okay and in the next stanza, she is trying to say, bridges are built to uh, built on the rivers, isn't it? And the, they connect us. They are also pretty, but the bow, the band which bridges heaven and overtops the trees, it is uh, passing over the trees, is it is prettier for than this because it builds a road from earth to sky. Have you seen the rainbow? Rainbow is bridging a road from earth to sky. She is seeing it like that. So in from this poem, uh, she wants to say that even though we have come across so many uh, incidents, so many beautiful scenes which are man-made, but when it uh, it comes to nature, when the nature creates a beautiful things, they are far more prettier than man-made things. So this is the theme of the poem. She wants to say how beautiful is the rainbow, which is bridging from earth. Uh, it it is the it is connecting earth to sky and it is sailing uh, like uh, clouds and boats. However, they are uh, um, sailing uh, boats and ships. Clouds are also sailing and um, bridge, how the bridges 
are built on the river uh, in the same way rainbow is a bridge between earth and sky how beautiful isn't it there are some new words for you let's learn them sail sail is travel in a boat or ship when we travel through boat or ship it can be called as sailing on the river or seas okay bow bow is the something that is in the shape of letter u have you seen the letter a u u sorry have you seen the letter u how it is in the form of a cross curve okay uh, the bow is also in the same form bridge bridge is to connect i know you have seen so, so many bridges isn't it to connect okay over top is rise above so uh, there are questions for the comprehension questions there are four questions i am going to ask um, let me check how many of you understood the poem boats ships and clouds are all pretty which is the prettiest among them yes because yes clouds are the prettiest among them because it is nature natural very natural things cloud is very natural thing but boats and ships are man made clouds are the prettiest among them what does the bow do you have to look at the uh, look at the options a b c look at them and answer me yes the bow bridges heaven and earth or builds a road from earth to sky and so both the options are matching so you have to write both a and b this is the right answer third one let's move to the third one what is much prettier than the bridges on the rivers look uh, look at the options and give me the right answer the rainbow that bridges heaven and earth boats that sail on the rivers ships that sail on the seas which is much prettier obviously the rainbow that bridges heaven and earth is the prettier than bridges on the rivers you are right in the second stanza of this poem what does the poet compare the rainbow to look at the second stanza of this poem what is the uh, what does the poet compare the rainbow to what is uh, she comparing it to yes she is comparing it to bridge isn't it because sky is connecting both earth and sky so she is comparing it to bridge now uh, what you have to do is you have to draw a beautiful picture of rainbow color it and let me know how you made it send me please and um, try to write down the uh, summary of this poem in kannada and uh, let's come to our uh, some of the activities from uh, diksha app so here we go with the diksha app first you have to tap on class 6 there you will get the first lesson and uh, at the first you will see english second language tap on it you will get the first lesson it's already done so go to the rainbow tap on it you will find uh, so many activities okay so uh, we'll go with the uh, fill in the blanks activity play okay here you have to fill in the right answers boats sail in the rivers you have to tap on the box 
you will get the keyboard and you have to write river r i v e r then arrow mark no okay boat sail in the rivers okay you will have to add yes then yes it is right cloud sail across the sky you are right yes k y sky okay yes this is also right ship sail on the where ship sail yes ship sail on the seas yes e a s seas arrow mark right next are more prettier than the ships what are more prettier than ships yes clouds c l o u d s clouds are more uh, for, uh, more prettier than shapes yes we are right next yeah we have done with this activity and uh, next is mcqs we'll go with that also play it's loading it will take a few moments so same as the fill in the blanks so we'll not go with that colors um, short answers we'll go to the short answers now play answer the following in a word phrase or a sentence you have to click on rainbow for the answer let us check that here you will see two questions where do the boats sail where do the boats sail yes the boats sail in the rivers let's check tap on the rainbow boats sail in the rivers where do the ships sail the ships sail on the seas yes you are right check check the ships sail on the seas next where do the clouds sail the clouds scale uh, sail on the sky across the sky clouds sail across the sky what does the rainbow do rainbow bridges heaven and earth rainbow builds a road from earth to sky it bridges heaven and earth both are the right answers next is what is much prettier than the bridges on the rivers what is much prettier rainbow is much prettier than the bridges on the rivers the rainbow is much prettier than the bridges on the rivers so this is also done next we'll go for colors okay play we have talked about vibure earlier do you rem do you remember yes what are they they are the short names of colors it is very easy to recall if you remember these words v i b g y o r v stands for if you want to know what v stands for you have to tap on question mark let's tap violet yes i stands for indigo b is blue green e g is green y is yellow o is orange and r is 
red, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Isn't it easy? V stands for violet, I for indigo, B for blue, G for green, O for orange and R for red. This is we called as web gear. Okay. Let's match the chart. Play. Loading. It will take some time. Some moments. Okay. Match the words in list A with their rhyming pairs in list B. Okay. So, rhyming words are the words which sounds very similar where uh, the single letters are different uh, but the sound is similar so r what is the rhyming word for r far yes you have to drag the box and make it right these these please see drag and adjust sail yes Tail, sky, fly, seas, trees. These are the rhyming pair, rhyming words. Okay. Let's check. Yes, we have done right. So, these are about uh, the Diksha app activities. So, all these activities and poem and uh, summary will definitely help you listen the whole video or watch it uh, carefully completely and attentively try to learn new words and uh, one more thing is that you have to recite it and send me the video okay i want to see how many can you sing more better than me hmm? so after this class you are going to write the notes first you have to Draw a beautiful rainbow. Then you have to write the poem and then glossary or new words and all the comprehension questions. I am going to give the link below. Okay, in the description box, you will get the link of this uh, uh, poems question and answer. Please check that. And I am going to give you the link for drawing the rainbow also. Please do check that also before drawing the rainbow picture okay you have to uh, go through the video and draw it very beautifully and sing the rhyme for me record it and send me uh, after that you you write the comprehension questions and all the uh, diksha app activities okay hope you enjoyed this class Thank you so much all. If you like my class, don't forget to subscribe and hit like. Thank you so much all. Don't go anywhere. Stay home. Stay safe. Learn happily. Okay. Thank you.